Welcome you scurvy sea dogs to the long awaited adventures of pirate captain bucko drink and perhaps even more importantly let me introduce you to pirate captain bucko drinks pirate island paradise well i mean something we aim to of course turn into pirate captain bucko drinks pirate captain paradise the only thing that really makes it a pirate paradise right now are bottles and bottles of rum i mean there are sharks you can feed landlubbers to the sharks that's about all I've got, really. Here on the Pirate Island Paradise of Pirate Captain Bucko Drink, piracy is the aim of the game. Be a bit weird if it was anything else. We're not gonna have quarries or trading or factories. This is Space Pirate Captain Bucko Drink. We see something and we take it. But yar dar diddly dee, Pirate Captain Bucko has done a bit of a fucky wucky and made himself quite a lot of enemy. Okay, well, that was unplanned, but kind of good. Because pirates aren't particularly liked here on the planet of the Rim, Space Pirate Captain Bucko Drink is going to have to deal with wave after wave of enemies. Do-gooders, wronged merchants, the Empire, boring people like that. Our job as Pirate Captain Space Pirate Captain Bucko Captain Drink. Fuck. <laughs> Our job as Space Pirate Captain Bucko Drink is very simple. Acquire booty, enter space. Don't get those reversed. That would be that'd be terrible. We are going to build the greatest pirate island possible by taking other people's treasure. And then using save our ship atop the very ocean itself, we're going to build Pirate Captain Bucko Drink, a spaceship to take to the stars. Because who doesn't like a bit of intergalactic booty? But despite his, <laughs> quite frankly, ludicrous combat prowess and social skills, no pirate captain can stand alone. Joining Space Pirate Captain Bucko Drink is his always attentive first mate, Boos Lussie. Boos Lussie, the most thoroughly average remote character you will ever see. And then joining... Are all those birds dead? Oh my... <laughs> I didn't see the sleeping side. I thought they'd all died spontaneously. And joining Pirate Captain Bucko Drink and first mate Boos Lussie, we have the only survivor of Boos Lussie's home colony. Monkey Chef. Tanya Sapien herself, famed Pirate Chef. And even though they might be lawless bandits in the eyes of the Empire, our pirates have their own very unique pirate code of honor. Because as any good pirate knows, you're only as strong as the captain leading you. And now with all the paperwork out the way, I'm I'm gonna have to reload because that timer has ticked down quite a lot. Now for those of you who haven't played Wave Base Survival, that makes <laughs> that makes two of us. It's very, very straightforward. You see who is going to raid you, what type of enemies they're going to send, and then how long before that raid turns up. The cool thing about the Vanilla Expanded Team's implementation of wave-based survival is that each wave has the chance of being a special wave. So, for example, you might get raided by nothing but people with snipers. And then if you survive, you get a reward based on the difficulty, the amount of waves you survive, what type of wave it is. And I actually can't believe I'm about to say this out loud. I've got to give credit to Discord for something. Not long ago, I asked, which do you think would be cooler? A gigantic river for a pirate base or pirate islands? And almost everybody said islands. And you know what? I've already got to agree. I think this is going to be incredible. I can see it now. The islands all connected with bridges, a separate island for Bucko's private mansion, a little rum distillery, that type of thing. I have no idea how we're going to build the spaceship, but I suppose that's kind of a unique challenge in its own right. No more messing around. We've got we've got a pirate base to defend. The real question is, which island do we want to start on? This one's got the most room, but... I quite like the look of this one. Oh my god, there's a giant snake. Not the only giant snake on Bucko Drinks Pirate Island. It's just it's just too easy, isn't it? There is an ancient danger on here, though, by the looks of it. Man, look at the resources. You know what? Top Island is best island. Ah, oh, monkey chef. I don't want to alarm you, pal. That's one hell of a sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> oh no. I guess we'll get working on those bridges fairly early then. Holy crap. Episode one and Boos Lussie is ripped apart by a great white shark. I feel like this should be fairly obvious to point out, but I will point it out anyway. No, the fish obviously can't go on land. Oh, that's a great point. What happens to animal insanity? I guess it'll just be a bunch of fish that <laughs> will circle our island manically. Crab. Look at the crab. I love that when they walk sideways, they literally just walk sideways. When they walk down, they walk sideways too. That's that's fantastic. Not really so much Pirate Island right now, I will admit. More luxury holiday resort, but I made sure we built the stockpile zone first. Captain Bucko's booty needs to be protected at all costs. In this case, his booty consists of <laughs> like a lot of steel and a lot of rum. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. 22% chance of getting a fourth reward of summoning the wave now. I'm not going to do that, of course, because I value life. Well, Captain Bucko's all tuckered out. He's all tired and in bed ready to, ready to get a nap. I'm not going to ruin that. Let him have his happiness. Oh! 
Who are the lovers? Although it won't last. This blissful moment I spent with you will be forever in my dreams. That's me whenever I open up RimWorld. Is it Boo Salusi and Monkey Chef? Wow, they really didn't mess around. Sure would be a shame if one of them were to be cut down in their prime in, say, oh, I don't know, 20 seconds. Well, you're going to have to stop whatever the hell that is. I don't know what's going on there. Get him, bucko. Oh, what a hit. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Our first rewards. Medicine drop, uranium drop, or poor weapons drop. Cargo pod contains 30 medicine. Well, that's pretty good. A cargo pod containing 100 uranium or three random quality weapons. I think given that we're just starting off and that's our first raid, let's build strong. I want to take the medicine. Was it just 30? Oh, it's 30 like actual medicine too. Wow, that's quite generous. So the good news is we can bridge over to the other islands. The bad news is we can't right now. I mean, this is the ocean after all. A regular wooden bridge wouldn't quite cut it. And the same goes for all of the bridges we've got right now. We need to do a little research to get the ocean bridges. Ocean bridges would also be an incredible name for our next recruit. Now, our crew doesn't really have anything else to do right now, given that they are trapped on a tiny little island. I guess we might as well double or triple down, I guess. Let's throw down three research benches and get this. What the? <laughs> what the hell happened there? An haunted architect tab aside. I guess we'll try and get that bridge research as early as possible. We, of course, have semi-random research. I love semi-random research. I think it's objectively the best way to play RimWorld. It means that everyone is somewhat varied and you can't just gun for that best research early on. And I think we have to go with fish traps, right? Fishing is core to the idea legend. We're pirates after all. Oh no, that's a little bit too fast. Tanya Monkey Chef Sapien, will you marry me? Unbelievable. And of course, this mod pack has some romance tweaks to make our pawns like one another a little bit sooner. So that when they are horribly mowed down by waves and waves of oncoming invaders, it's that much more sad. Do you two, do you two have to talk about that? Captain Bucko is sat right there. And we're looking for a research called Deep Water Bridges. Oh, well, instead they've given us microelectronics. I almost can't pass that up. Yeah, there it is. Deep Water Bridges needs heavy bridges first. But with gunpowder, we could build flintlocks and muskets. That's very pirate. And I'm well aware Boost and Monkey Chef do have charge rifles. They bought it with them from last series. Okay, it's, it's all above board. Oh, but look, if we take smithing, we can make steel bridges, which do work in the ocean. And then maybe we'll get a lot of steel drops from wave base survival. I think that's a safe bet. Okay, here we go. White Crag Settlement. One mayor, one militia, and one settler. It's called Stressman. Finally, I've been added to Rimworld. <laughs> now, Captain Bucko has a one-of-the-kind super unique mortar that never runs out of ammo. I thought it's only right that the captain would be the primary defense tool for our little pirate island here. Oh, what a defense tool he is. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, look, there you go, right on cue. So we can take steel there to help build the bridges earlier. That will drop one random heavy weapon and one exoskeleton frame. Oh, that's really cool as well. Ah, uh, let's go with the steel drop. I think, yeah, I think let's go steel. Okay, there we are. Oh, we get a little extra steel too from the steel slag chunk. I think resources are definitely key for the raid rewards. Not only have we got to build a save our ship spaceship to stop Captain Bucko drink being such a landlubber. We're also going to have to build a massive steel platform to actually build the thing on in the first place, right? What do you think a pirate crew is going to sit there in a quarry all day getting steel when other people across the planet have already done that? Oh, that fish just ate that monkey. <laughs> David Attenborough, you're in a lot of trouble, pal. I've been on a roll this week with my nature documentaries. Holy shit. Right, there we are. That's the first part of our steel bridges. Show me... Useless microelectronics again or tree? Fine. <laughs> just give me your give me your microelectronics. Okay, whatever. But like we're in backwards land. I want a bridge and it's just giving us non-stop electronics. Now there is one key part to running a space pirate crew, and that's actually having a crew. Now the next raid that's turning up is a single space pirate from Discordia. If we can take them alive. I mean, I'm sure that would count as clear in the raid. I'm sure you just have to knock them down, right? But if we could take them alive, that could be a nice addition to the crew. Not to mention, we are probably going to need a lot more firepower than usual, given that it is way base of oil, after all. So let's hang back with Bucko Drink, because trying to take people alive with a mortar is traditionally not a very good idea. We'll leave this one to Boost Lussy and Monkey Chef. All right, Space Pirate, what have you got for me? A raid from Discordia. It's Quang Dean. Quang Dean with their 16 mining double passion. 
12 melee. Okay, I quite like it. Oh, Captain Bucko, don't fire. <laughs> don't fire unless things get, get a little bit overwhelmed, huh? We'll keep him on standby. We'll, we'll put him in the doorway. That way, if things kick off, we can just have him take everybody out. Here he comes. Take him alive. Take him alive. A good miner would be fantastic. Come on. Send him. Send him. He's lighting the corn on fire. Oh, it's a tactical play. He's a genius. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, what an addition to the crew that guy would make. Never mind, I suppose. How is 250 wood equivalent to 30 medicine? That seems a little insane. I suppose the idea behind it is you're going to be taking a lot more damage because you find a lot more people, right? We've already got 42 medicine and there's only three people. I guess we'll take the stone for building Bucko's mighty pirate headquarters. On the plus side, we got a hammer for Boosalussi, who's famously a terrible, terrible builder. I love that he also made off with that flake there. Don't think I didn't notice that. The hunted Baroness. No, that's not happening. I'm sorry. Or it happens and we make her into a crewman of Captain Bucko's space pirate empire. I mean, we're pirates after all. Our ideology starts with a lower reputation by default. Everybody's going to hate us either way. We might as well get something out of it too. And they're generally quite good. They might have some Psy Pals or something like that. Let's quickly throw down a prison. Or I guess we call it a, a brig. <laughs> Is that what you call it? I feel like I need to Google that now. I'm so confident, but now I'm, I'm really not sure at all. Oh, a cell door. That'll do. You know what? Let's embrace it. Let's go all in. We're probably going to get plenty of steel from the raids themselves. There you go. Perfect. I like it. Uh, yeah, you can join us. Alexios. That's fine. Yeah, we'll help you out with that. <laughs> Oh, what an incredible crown. Are you any good? I'm capable of dumb labor, skilled labor, animals, mining, plant work. Ah, well, that, that, that's answered that question. Five Psy powers, though. You know, I had an idea. It's, 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 a, it's a big brain idea, but it's also pretty complex. So Vanilla Expanded Pirates added war caskets. What if we capture as many nobles from the Empire as possible? Freeholders, dukes, maybe the Stellark themselves and seal them in war caskets. The Empire probably hate Space Pirate Captain Bucko Drink because he's a Space Pirate Captain. What if the main bulk of his fighting force or the sacrificial ones on the front lines are Imperial subjects sealed into war caskets? That would be incredible. And if you haven't played this mod before, war caskets are like massive versions of power armor that you're permanently sealed into. You can't work. You can't do anything besides fight. Well, fight and die, that is. Get him, Bucko. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Something that'd be a little more explosive, I won't lie. Tell the Stellark I sent you as it dings off the bumper. <laughs> Minus five opinion for destroying their shuttle. Well, they're really not bothered about that at all, huh? No, 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 no. No, 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 I didn't say you could leave. Oh my god. She's got all possessed. <laughs> That's fucking horrifying. Dale's Devils as well now? My god, this series is gonna mess me up as a player. I wanna talk about our hopes and dreams, the plans I have for Captain Bucko, and it's just... It's non-stop. It's making me realize how slow our regular mod packs are by comparison. There's so much downtime. Oh, Petal has to build a building. I'll just go and make some lunch. Not anymore. All hands on deck. Come on, land lovers. Get him, Bucko. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. So we have a textile drop. 400 pieces of leather or textile, 1,000 silver, or a single pawn of up to 50 combat points will join the colony. I think it, it would be much better if we get to vet the people who can join us first. We have the isolationist meme, after all. So we have to convert people. We have to basically get them to prove that they're willing and, and wanting to join and worthy to join Captain Bucko's crew. I'm going to take cold, hard cash. Put it in Bucko's vault. Oh, the next raid is from the Fallen Empire. And what the hell is even that? Ninjas. All enemies are invisible for the first 30 seconds. Oh. Right, okay. Well, let's hope they don't spawn enough here. Otherwise, we could be in a lot of trouble. Hold on one second. Open defecation. I added Dub's bad hygiene, you fool. I added it so we could have a poop deck. And I'm well aware that's not a poop deck is, but the pun was very self-evident. They have been drinking out of the marsh. I wondered what they were doing, but now I realize they were... They were just drinking marsh water. How is fresh water going to work on... Oh, it's not. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, well, let's just throw it well down anywhere, then. Uh, that's that's fine. Come on, Booster Lussy. Get to work. These latrines aren't going to build themselves. And given that Bucko is, is the captain, I feel like he should get some luxuries of his own. I'm going to build him a private bathroom. The captain's bathroom. Here come the ninjas. Hello there. Group of Imperials from the Fallen Empire have arrived nearby. Wow, they're quite tanky. 
Good lord. Invisible with marine armor and Zeus hammers. Is it like a black ops squad after us? What the hell's going on? We're just in a St. Pirate Lord Bucko drink. Ignore the corpses. Hopefully they'll go visible anytime soon. Uh, can we just manually... Ah, they're visible. They're visible. Get them, Bucko. Come on. Oh, okay. It hit, but it wasn't that much damage. Get into some cover. I think I'm going to need it. Come on. Oh, what a whiff. Maybe we could get some armor, though. Maybe a recruit. Nice. There you go. There you go. Shields are down. Oh, boost. Run. Boost. You absolute fool. Well, luckily it bounced right off his recon armor, so it wasn't a big deal. Come on. We need some more recruits here. Try not to kill him. If we kill him, so... So be it. Well, death of certifies. So we don't even get some tainted armor. I think at some point we are going to have to accept that I'm going to have to take a random crappy colonist, no matter who or what they are. Uh, leather drop. Uh, poor weapons. We don't need weapons. I think the leather might be the most useful still. We can defend ourselves pretty well. You know, they've got to wade through the water to get to us. Give me the leather. 300 legend leather. What is legend leather? Luxurious and extremely hard to acquire. Used for durability and protection. Whoa. What on earth is this? 100% beauty comes from thrombos, arco thrombos, Fenris, Lothar, and Neuron. What the hell is an arco thrombo? God, I wish you guys wouldn't hang around in the ocean for fun. I mean, I know we're pirates, but you've seen the sharks. We're genuinely going to get all of these various different crap that people have dropped. Brilliant. You <laughs> went out there and ate a meal. Why aren't you feeding the prisoner, Bucko? Why have I got to do that manually? We've got so many bananas. It's the wet bandits. One, two, three, four, five of them this time. Wow. And they have spawned right above our island too. Okay, this one could be quite difficult. Man, it's already getting quite tough. O all right, never mind. I didn't even get to see it. I couldn't pan the camera up fast enough. <laughs> Whoa. Look at these rewards. 100 Ambrosia, 100 Psychite Tea, 200 Beer, 200 Smoke, 200 Flight, 200 Yeah, 200 Wake Up, 200 Go Juice. Or we can take improve every skill of every pawn under your control by two. Wow. Um, I, I think I'm going to take the skill boost, to be honest. That's going to affect combat too, right? It absolutely does. Look at that. Wow, that's a really, really nice boost across the board. Wow. A boost for my boost. Goodbye, wet bandits. Now it's starting to dawn on me. Have I bitten off far more than I can chew? Maybe, maybe yes. <laughs> maybe yes. This is going to be a hell of a difficult series. Wow. Local flamingo has gone mad. Oh, no. Bucko, you're supposed to be the captain. Okay, well, I can't be mad at that. Bucko, boost. Now's no time for chatting. A group of junk... I thought it said junkies then. <laughs> a group of junkers from the patrons have arrived. Wow. That is a hell of a lot. The zealous, the careless, the tall, and... Jacint. Oh, maybe bridges are a bad idea, because I... Oh, not the turtle. Maybe bridges are a bad idea, given that our best defense right now is Bucko. Slowly picking off enemies with a mortar. <laughs> Boost, get behind some cover. Oh, what a hit. Wow. This mortar sucks. Okay, this could be a problem. No, no, out the way, sea turtle. No, 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 out the way, wave base survival. One down. Oh, two down. Oh, shit. You destroyed the one thing I wanted from that guy. Nice. Hey, what a shot there from Boost. Holy crap. A resource reward. Giving 1,000 with 1,000 steel, 60 components, 20 advanced components, and 300 plastic. Oh, my lord. We've got... Oh, I mean, I've got to take that, right? Excellent reward. Nice. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. Wow, so we got really lucky there. Look, reward commonality at this wave. 3% chance of an excellent reward. We really did hit the jackpot there. Oh, bucko. What did I tell you about hitting the sea turtles? Oh, luckily. <laughs> luckily, they're just helping us out. Well, this has been... um. Quite the start. We haven't even got a kitchen or anywhere to even remotely prepare food. And we're already under attack from Janissaries. A single wind turbine we'll probably have to do right now just because we don't have time to build anything else. Fortunately for us, it seems like a lot of the island trees don't count as blocking a wind turbine either. So this might be the perfect power supply, at least for now. And I say at least for now because we're about to get horribly murdered. Oh, it's the Empire. Hello. Oh, they spawn in. Okay, they're pretty close, but they're not. Not that bad. You can't turn up with gorse rifles already. Are they going to the top of the island? That could be a problem. We need like a bridge going all the way around the outer level of the island so that we can get around it a bit sooner to stop this happening in the future. Come on, Bucko. What a shot. What a guy. Oh, another one. The man can't be contained. You will never get this. Good luck, team. Wow, they got here fast. Oh, shit. Oh, no. If you kill Paul Slussy episode one, I'll, I'll, I'll retire. I'll retire. There we go. Okay. Fuel drop, medicine drop, or a pawn reward. Single pawn with 
50 minimum worth and up to 125 combat points. You know what? I think I'm going to have to do it. I think I'm going to have to take it at this point. We don't need the fuel. And we, we don't really need the medicine. we got 42 right now. Give me that. Mimi. Mimi the shelter kid. Join us. Are you any good? No. <laughs> no, not really. Four shooting. Wasn't what I was after, but I suppose it's better than nothing right now. 10 medical, 11 intellectual. Okay, you know what? It could have been worse. It means that we can speed through research. I'm really glad I didn't just bulldoze that spare bedroom. That's fine. Oh. Which place Captain Bucko Drink actually got hit? The Gorse Rifle! You son of a bitch. Nobody harms space pirate Captain Bucko Drink. Oh, except for, except for that guy, apparently. Get him, Bucko. Oh, boost! Get him, Bucko. Come on. Come on, bring him down. Bring him down. A little bit of old-fashioned pirate vengeance. Oh, God, a little bit of pirate death. Nice! There you go. Oh, that's not a gorse rifle. Thomas had never seen such bullshit before. The only reason I was hunting him down was for the freaking gorse rifle. Well, never mind. I suppose you know what? To me, means credit. They've got good medical. And we do need a doctor right now, given that Captain Bucko drink is, um... Captain Bucko sink right now, given the amount of holes in him. Mimi, are you just tending him without medicine for shits and giggles? Or, or what's going on there? No, 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 no. No, I need you to tend to buck. No. What's wrong with you? you? You've lost your mind. These are gunshot holes from a gorse rifle. Why are we not using medicine? Mimi, take your medicine to inventory. There we go. Tend to Captain Bucko. You're still not using medicine. Mimi, this is a mutiny. What the hell's wrong with you? They're a strange person. Oh, you know what? Just tend to him. <laughs> He's lying in bed saying this is the end of Captain Bucko. You might not be wrong. Monkey chef. Oh, now you tend... What? Am I going insane? Best quality medicine possible. This is a mutiny. Imperial spy here to destabilize the crew. You need to know your place, Mimi. There we are. Monkey see, monkey do. And in this case, monkey chef. I think I'll put Mimi on research as a top priority. Because there's so much key research we need just to get this base going. Honestly, at this point, I'm thinking we say, forget the bridges. But let's go for turrets instead. We do have basic... Oh, I mean, we've got cannons. It wasn't really what I was about to say, but that'll, that'll do, I guess. Now, better mind these cannons have a limited firing arc. That's the whole point. So let's fortify our little island. I mean, if we could build bridges and put the cannons out on that, that would be incredible. I'm pretty certain none of these work, but I will just double check. Yeah, okay, so we do need the deep water bridges. But then think of it, emplacements with cannons out there. Cannons, sandbags, reaching out into the ocean. This is going to be incredible. All we have to do is... <laughs> remotely survived that long. I mean, still, we got thousands. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's throw another one, like, like there. And I guess we'll put that one off into the into the distance a little bit. I mean, another one over there, too. Because they're going to always path roughly the same direction. Not much point putting one at the top, because that's the edge of the map, right? Tactical cannon placement with Pirate Captain Bucko is not what I was expecting. Don't we have a better weapon for Mimi? Uh, not massively, no. Uh, heavy revolver? You know what? I think that's the best we got. Go ahead and take that. You know what? Even now, kind of happy with the progress. Already got microelectronics and we haven't been here that long. I, I think I can live with that. Yeah. Well, that's a hard choice. Saunas or gunpowder? It's Anne's totally normal blood bank. How many are, are, are there? Oh my god, there's loads. There's seven? Does Mimi really make that much difference? Oh, but on the plus side though, we've got the cannons built. So those are the arcs we have defending the base right now. We'll give our people a little bit longer before we draft them up. Because honestly, it's going to take these guys ages to get here. Okay, they're almost in range. So let's get someone on this cannon. Mimi, get on this cannon here. Everybody else, I guess we'll just kind of kind of pop around this area. Okay, you know what? That's almost perfect, isn't it? Get him, Mimi. Get him, Mimi. Between Mimi and Bucko, I think we're, I think we're ready. Come on, team. How long does it take to fire? That's it. Get him. Get him. Oh, the inaccuracy. Mimi, come on. Mimi's already been peppered. Monkey Chef's been peppered too. Shit. Okay, this is a bad day. Come down here. Come down here. Oh, okay. You know what? Good shot from Mimi. Nice. There you go. Diablo's been kind of maimed. Won't be able to capture Diablo. You any good? Uh, you're, you're okay. I'm not really into the animal skill. Monkey Chef is down. Captain Bucko's been injured. <laughs> Holy shit. If we only survived nine waves. <laughs> Captain Bucko's illustrious mountain base. Maybe we should go for that one. Oh, hey. Wow, we are getting a lot of excellent rewards, aren't we? 5,000 silver, 250. I, I've got to take the, the skill boost. Every skill by three. Massive. Especially given that right now, I think good medical skill will come in very handy. How you doing, monkey chef? Okay, just a bunch of shots. Not a big deal. Nobody's taking any permanent damage. That would be, be the real killer here. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Sandbags? We'd have to build it out of 
<laughs> Legend leather. Oh, no. No, we've got plenty of cloth. It just isn't in the stop fire yet. Okay, let's start throwing sandbags all the way around the edge of the island, I suppose. Maybe not all the way around. Just in places where it would make sense. So, like, here. Big stretches of, of area like this. Hopefully, it won't block the wind turbine. I will admit, I'm not normally in a situation where I have to worry about every tiny part of the base counting. Maybe... Maybe we do dig back into the mountain. We'd have to deal with the ancient danger, but it would give us so much more defense. Captain Bucko is no coward, but Captain Bucko also doesn't want to die. <laughs> Warning, crewmates will be upset if mining occurs. No pirate wants to do manual labor. They want to take the things that other people who do manual labor manage to find. I'm sorry, pirates. I don't think we have a choice here. Who's our best mining character? It's Monkey Chef. I think we've got to pick X somewhere too. Look, I'm sorry. She may become unhappy. We don't have a choice. You're going to be more unhappy if you're dead. Well, I suppose you probably wouldn't be. Mind. Minus 20. Holy shit. Really? Three blocks? Really? Maybe, maybe Pirate Captain Bucko drink gets a Pirate Captain Bucko slave. Moses, how good are you at mining? Uh, zero. <laughs> oh, no. Give up dumb labor and skilled labor. Oh, shit. Maybe it isn't an ancient danger. It might just be a regular plain old little crappy ruin. Well, that's gonna that's gonna ruin my plans. Yeah, I think it's fairly safe to say that that's <laughs> that's not an ancient danger at this point. Finally, the research that will keep us alive: saunas. Frequent use can reduce the chance of heart attacks. Gonna need one of those after this episode is done. Okay, okay, drug production. No, 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 sterile materials. We've got to build a hospital. We have to. Soup cooking also very good, I think, thematically when we've got our pirate ship. But that when is very swiftly turning into an if. Of course, the big problem with sterile materials is I have no idea where the hell we're going to build a hospital at this point. <laughs> Siege equipment. Um, I mean, the cannons are way more on brand. I can't take that. Devil Strand Industrial Stale Pumps or Stew Cooking? Wow. You've really got to do me like this, huh? Uh, let's just take the Stew Cooking and just get it out of the way. It's a cheap research. We can reroll. And finally, the last chance today that the game will have to send us to the briny depths. Wave 10 from the patrons. This wave has the big bosses modifier. All enemies are mercenaries. Wave ray points is divided by two. I'm not entirely sure how to pass that, but I think what it means is the enemies are an upgraded type. So mercenary is like a literal type of bandit, right? But th it uses less points overall, but the individual enemies are, are stronger. They're, they're, they're like an upgraded unit type, right? I guess we'll find out in about three seconds. Get ready, squad. Monkey Chef, you can stop mining now. <laughs> Group of junkers have arrived. The Brutal, Lana, and Mia. You've got Doomsday Rocket Launcher. I cannot believe you would do this. You have flash grenades that I suppose makes up for it. And you have a Derringer. Okay, this is fine. As long as Captain Bucko can take out Mia the Fast. The name like Mia the Fast and not much confidence. As long as we can take her out before things kick off, I think we'll be okay. Man the cannons. I'm so glad we can actually say that this series. Man the cannons. Monkey Chef, get over here. Here it goes. That's got to hit. Oh, Bucko. What's the range on that? Oh, God. Could be all over before it's even begun. That's on target. What a hit. It might not be good enough, though. God, I feel like Legolas at Helm's Deep. Bring it down. Oh, shit. Bucko, Bucko, Bucko. You're going for the wrong one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's on target. Oh, no. Oh, he's done it. Holy crap. They've done it. Mimi and Bucko, you legends. Excellent weapons drop, random normal reward, or cash. Oh, I mean, the weapons drop could come in really handy. I mean, with Mimi on the cannon, Mimi did some good work there. I think I will take the random... Oh, maybe the thousand silver. We do have microelectronics. Actually, this could be very, very handy. Give me the cash. Mia the Fast, are you any good? No, not really, but we did get a free... <laughs> we did get a doomsday rocket launcher out of it. Oh, she drowned anyway. We wouldn't have been able to save her. Wow. We have survived the first day. I'm not entirely sure how. Ten raids with Bucko Drink have been cleared. This is going to be a, a challenge. This is going to be a serious challenge like none other. The islands in combo with wave base survival where we can't just bunker down in a mountain base. We can't just throw in a bunch of kill boxes, sandbags, mazes, you name it. We don't have that option. This is cold, hard pirate fighting. And of course... As always, if you would like to play along, links are available down in the description to a load order, mod configs, the Steam Workshop collection. Everything you will need to dive in straight away 
with this. And of course, I'll make my save available too, right at the start there with Boo Salusi, Monkey Chef, and Captain Bucko Drink. Hope you all enjoy the idea behind this series. I want to do something a little more arcadey, a little more focused on gameplay rather than kind of the story, the characters. Obviously, that'll still develop, and I think it has been developing pretty well so far. But I am a sucker for wave based survival. You know, I, I really enjoyed doing that when we did the Android series many moons ago now with the original wave based survival. So, I, I, I like what we've got going on here, and I think it'll be something that I'll come back to time and time again. And the real question is, will Pirate Captain Bucko Drink make it off-world? I think this is going to be exceptionally difficult, not only in terms of the building, but in terms of actually surviving that long anyway. In the meantime, thank you all for watching, and a bigger thank you still goes out to the patrons who for today include Rising Phoenix, DQ, Falcon Alaris, Emily, Guinevere, Mr. Moosh, Tom Paz, Shadow Werewolf, Other Guy 39, Asana Kurato, Simba, Taco Cat, Jared, and Dagon for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for your support over there. Thank you as well to somewhere right near the bottom of my list. We have Aragon Awesome, Corrupt Racer, Androdust, Lunatic, William, Pim, Squiddy to McGruff, Risto, Xenos the Painter, Mr. Meeseats, Canopus, Typhoon 198, Matteo, Holdemord, My Sweaty Rim Rim, Brennick, N. And Craig on as well. See you all tomorrow for our slow descent into death.